When the poor and needy seek water and there is none, their tongue fails for thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers on the bare heights and springs in the middle of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Jesus stood and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, from within him will flow rivers of living water. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your soul. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forward and forevermore. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and marked off the sky with his span and calculated the dust of the earth in a measuring basket and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Lord's spirit or has taught him as his counsellor? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in. Haven't you known? Haven't you heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, doesn't faint. He isn't weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. He increases the strength of him who has no might. Even the youths faint and get weary, and the young men utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. A highway will be there, a road, and it will be called the Holy Way. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it will be for those who walk in the way. Strengthen the weak hands and make the feeble knees firm. Tell those who have a fearful heart, be strong, don't be afraid. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, God's retribution. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf will be unstopped. Then the lame man will leap like a deer and the tongue of the mute will sing. For waters will break out in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand will become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. Grass with reeds and rushes will be in the habitation of jackals, where they lay. A highway will be there, a road, and it will be called the Holy Way. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it will be for those who walk in the way. No lion will be there, nor will any ravenous animal go up on it. They will not be found there. But the redeemed will walk there. Then the ransomed of the Lord will return and come with singing to Zion, and everlasting joy will be on their heads. They will obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. 
Surely goodness and loving kindness shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Jesus came to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. They will rebuild the old ruins. They will raise up the former devastated places. They will repair the ruined cities that have been devastated for many generations. Strangers will stand and feed your flocks. Foreigners will work your fields and your vineyards. But you will be called the priests of the Lord. Men will call you the servants of our God. You will eat the wealth of the nations. You will boast in their glory. Instead of your shame, you will have double. Instead of dishonor, they will rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they will possess double. Everlasting joy will be to them. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul will be joyful in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. For as the earth produces its buds, and as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul will be joyful in my God. He showed me a river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb in the middle of its streets. On this side of the river and on that was the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. There will be no more curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will serve him. The wilderness and the dry land will be glad. The deserts will rejoice and blossom like a rose, it will blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. They will see the glory of the Lord, the excellence of our God.